And toxic stress is the type of stress that no amount of meditating is going to um, reduce. You know, for a moment, you'll feel a little better, but um, but toxic stress has got to be detoxed. And, um, and then that um, forces us to identify what type or category of toxin has built up to the point where it's toxic in your body, because that will then inform the um, specialized protocol we use to pull it out. Okay, that's interesting. So it's something that's built up to become toxic, prolonged, and therefore need you need to get to the root of it, would you say? Or you need to dig deep? How would you describe it? And what would I say you gotta pull it out by its roots? You know how if you like have weeds in your garden and you just like pick the stuff off the surface, and then you go out there two days later and you're like, really? there it is again, you know, you got to get that root, that weed out by the roots. And if you get it out by the roots, then it doesn't come back. If it does come back, it takes a really long time, right? So we live in a toxic world. There is no avoiding it. There are toxins everywhere. And, you know, unless you want to live on a mountaintop with no internet access off the grid, like, which I know I don't want to live like that. Right. You know, I like, um, I like living, you know, a full and fulfilling life, mixing it up in the normal world. And so if you are one of those people, which I believe most of us are, um, you are going to regularly need to monitor how much stress has built up in your body and just, be regularly doing things that help kind of keep it under control. And how does stress turn toxic? Because as you say, life will bring normal stressors. So how does it turn toxic? You know, that's a, um, a very individual case by case basis. Um, many people get away with one type of toxicity, like take cigarette smoking. Um, for example, we, most of us know that cigarette smoking is bad for you and it leads to lung cancer and all sorts of other issues. And then, and then we see the person who's been smoking since they were 13 and they're in their nineties and, you know, maybe they have a little emphysema and, and, you know, they have that disgusting smokers cough, but they're still alive and kicking, you know, like they didn't get cancer. <laughs> and then you've got the person like um, uh, Christopher Reeves. I don't know if you remember the Superman um, guy who had the, he had an accident and ended up being a paraplegic oh. and he passed away. That was many years ago, but his, um, wife and widow developed lung cancer and she had never smoked. 